Glendale-based Johnson Controls announcing today it will invest $245 million into what are known as start-stop batteries. So we went under the hood for a look at how those batteries work. Cars and trucks lined the parking lot at Johnson Controls as the company showed off its start-stop battery technology. It offers the advantage of being able to turn off the engine during what would otherwise be a normal idling event. So you're driving along, pull up to a stop sign and press the brake. There you go. All you'll notice is just a minor little pulse that indicates that the engine has stopped. When you hit the gas, you'll notice another little pulse and sense the engine is going again. Michael Andrews, an engineer at Johnson Controls, says the battery has been tested for our cold Wisconsin winters. It will do the start-stop well. It will also do the conventional cold crank as well as or better than a conventional battery. The goal of the start-stop system is to save gas and reduce emissions without compromising any vehicle features. The vehicle operates in the same way, same power, same torque same operating features, and it's a very economical solution with relatively short payback times. And Johnson Controls says battery life not affected by the start-stop technology. The feature adds about $120 to the overall cost of a car.